everyone and welcome to October's Zodiac Tarot readings for 2016. This month I'm going to be using the Gilded Tarot by Sarah Marchetti. I'll be drawing four cards for each of the 12 zodiac signs. Sun signs, moon sign, rising sign. If you don't know your rising or your moon sign, I always include links to free calculators in the description box below the video. Also, I will be drawing a fifth card from an oracle deck, and I'm going to be using Mystical Wisdom uh, card deck this month, and it is by Gay Guthrie and Josephine Wall. And I actually did a video review for this deck, and I will post the link to that also in the description box below this video. And when I can get in there and edit, I'll actually put one of those magic little links right on this video. So this is a beautiful deck, and it's gonna round out our reading this month. I also am an in-house reader at Next Millennium. I give readings the last Friday of every month. I'll post a link to Magical Omaha in the description box below this video, and too, I will also put the magical links inside the video when I can get in to edit it. Hello Gemini and welcome to your October reading. Your cards as you can see they are laid and they are ready to go so we're going to start right off with card number one. Knight of Wands. Court cards as I say and I say and I say over and over and over. They are psychological profiles first for me. They are they can be an energy surrounding you that's connected to this card and its element. They can be an actual individual that is around you. And so that the energy kind of falls and in different ways, and I'm sure that you will know which one this is. I'm going to describe the personality first because that's the part that I find actually most intriguing. The White Knight of Wands is super and super and super intelligent. I don't know whether this is you or someone around you, um, but you will recognize it. The knight is not only super intelligent, they are very focused. They are, they alike can pinpoint and they hone in on a topic and they can ride it to death. If it's something that intrigues them, they will learn everything there is about it. If it's, if it's something that intrigues them, they are constantly involved in it. They're thinking about it. They're talking about it. They also tend to be kind of socially withdrawn because they find their own interest kind of swallows them up and they're, they're very able to, um, to entertain themselves and to keep themselves busy learning all this stuff. Sometimes they're like a bull in a china shop because they just rampage through. They think every, everyone is going to be interested in the same thing they're interested in and they're just like really enthusiastic and they're very focused um, super intelligent, connected to the element of fire, so it's like whoosh, let's um, run in and just too hot to trot. Ooh, hot to trot came to my mind. <laughs> okay, I don't know where that came from, but if things pop into my mind, I just say them. I just want to look at this card a moment. Um, as an energy of this knight, and, and the court cards, whether king or queen, can relate to either sex for me, because Everyone kind of has aspects of both sexes within their makeup, in their persona, and we just all do. So um, that's kind of up in the air for me with this card. I'm not sure if it's male or female, but I know there's just tremendous energy. With the fire, the wands, also comes just tremendous energy. And this person is just so intelligent, and they are so focused. And it's like if, they're, if they've got a topic that interests them, very often they will wind up being kind of an expert on this topic because they just absorb more and more and more and more information. They just never tire of it. Um, they could be a little more subtle with some of their social interactions. They're so intellectual. They are so focused on that that sometimes um, they don't, they don't, or they're not aware of how they come off and how they say something, or they're not aware of how their outward demeanor might strike someone, because inwardly they may not mean to be abrupt at all, but sometimes they are just because they're so inwardly focused. Oh, boy, that card made me tired. Just That's a really high energy card, and 
And we're going to move on to card number two. The devil reversed. Ridding oneself of one's own bad habits or addictions that are that are holding us back. Um, the devil, it can represent um, physical addictions, it can represent chemical addictions, it can uh, represent addictions of habits, um, addictions of behavior, it can, and like I said, it could be of drugs, alcohol, sex, shopping, um, whatever ties us to something um, that weakens us. That's kind of how I look at this. Whatever ties you to whatever makes you weak, this is like the time to let it go. This is the time to cut the cords. This is the time to find your strength. This is the time to bury your weakness. This is the time to banish those things in your life that cut you down, that that pull you up short. Those things in life that are like a monkey on your back. Those things that are holding you back. Um, also, the idea of an individual finding their strength through a cathartic process, um, churning down, whether, whether it's um, memories from childhood, um, something in our past that's like perhaps hidden in our subconscious, but it's like it's there, it's there. Even if we're not aware of it always, there's something from our past that kind of hounds us and and dogs us and and it actually weakens us because it's it's just a negative energy so we want to get rid of that cut the ties that bind that's the uh, phrase that has come to mind for this for this card cut the ties that bind card number three four of wands oh my goodness from this character and this personality, whether this is you, someone around you, whatever we're going through here, you're going to be successful at it. It's like maybe some of you have reached a stage in life where you need a cathartic process, whether it's journaling, whether it's therapy, whether it's some self-analysis and growth um, through reading and learning new techniques of um, meditation, of, of um, self-evolvement. Um, that's going to work because you're going to come out into a period of time where for some of you there is going to be something celebratory coming up. Um, there's like family ties. There's like something wistful and fast and fleeting. There is the idea of fertility and new growth. Um, there is the idea of unity. There is the idea of a strong foundation. Sometimes when we come through this and we and we actually take this devil card and we just cut him up and we chew him up and we spit him out. And when we're all done and this is said and done, we come out actually stronger and more pure and more... We have a stronger core and um, we have a healthier self-ego. We have um, a stronger will to succeed. And, and also, as a, side, as a side note coming up, sometimes when this card comes up, there's like um, a family celebration coming up of some kind that's going to draw a group of people together, whether it's a wedding, an anniversary, um, whether it's a reunion. It's something where a multitude of generations from a family will cohese and bond. Card number four, Two of Swords. We end this idea with a reading, um, with the idea of a stalemate, with an idea of, 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 of indecision or a decision yet to be made. We end this reading with the idea of someone having to choose which path to go. Um, you've come through all of this. You've come through, especially, especially this card. This card is like, this card is like very important. It's something you have to go through in order to move on. It's like something having, having, it's like someone having gone through something. And a lot of you might be standing at a new threshold, and there's like more than one doorway there. Which way are you going to go? Which door are you going to open? What direction do you want your life to take? 
Um, what opportunities are awaiting you? Um, what do you want to advance to spiritually, physically, emotionally, uh, job related, relationship related? What is your next step? What is your next growth period? What's it all about for you? You know, and I'm, and I'm feeling with this card, don't rush. <coughs> Excuse me. The idea is coming through. Don't hurry. You don't have to hurry. No one should be pushing you to make an immediate decision. So take your time. Take your time to decide what door you're going to open, which direction you're going to go. What new things do you want to experience and expand upon? Also, for some of you, if you were at odds with someone, <clears throat> if they're... <coughs> excuse me. Also, for some of you, if you are at odds with someone, if there is someone in your life for whom you either are estranged or communication has stopped or been disturbed, it is time for you to undo that. It is time for you to open the gates. It is time for you to reconnect on a communication level. It is time for you to... to uh, to bury old hatchets. Oh yeah, that's the phrase that's coming to mind for me. Bury the hatchet, bury the hatchet. You don't want to carry that hatchet all through your life. That dang thing is going to get really heavy. So, <coughs> excuse me, make sure you put it down. Okay, we are going to go ahead and draw an Oracle card from Mystical Wisdom card deck and find out what we're going to finish this reading off with. What are we going to round out our reading with? Friendship. Nurture your relationships. Well, that just goes right into the last card. Uh, bury that hatchet. If there's a relationship that has been estranged in your life, if there's communication that you're having an issue with, it's time for you to reconnect. 